Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to today's collected activity, Pressing Flowers. Let's get started. This activity can be completed in 10 steps and will take approximately one hour. What you'll need for this activity are a few sheets of paper towel, a can of spray glue, some clear packing tape, a couple of heavy books or bricks, a few sheets of wax paper, a pair of tweezers, a pair of scissors, and the flowers you would like to display. Make sure you've got a few different kinds for color and variety. And finally, you'll need a piece of paper or your journal for displaying the flowers. So the first thing you'll do is select the flowers that you'd like to press. They can be big or small, and make sure you've got lots of different colors. Set your heavy books in front of you, and make sure you've got a nice clean space. Remember, have all your materials that you'll need ahead of time, and choose your flowers as well. Take a piece of your wax paper and lay it flat on top of your heavy book or your brick. Then take one piece of your paper towel and lay it on top of the wax paper. This will allow the moisture from your flower to be absorbed. Then choose one of the flowers that you'd like to press and lay it nice and flat on top of your paper towel. Make sure you arrange all the petals and the leaves the way you'd like them to dry. Remember, flowers can be very delicate, so make sure you arrange your flower carefully. Next, take your second piece of paper towel and place it on top of your flower. Then, take your other piece of wax paper and place it on top of the paper towel. Smooth everything out nice and flat with your hands. Don't forget to put the sheet of paper towel on top of your flower first so that it can absorb the moisture from the flower. Next, take your second heavy book and place it on top of the second sheet of wax paper. Press down hard to flatten everything out. Remember, you don't have to use a book. You can always use a heavy brick or another heavy flat object to press your flowers. Leave the books with the flower between them in a cool, dry place for a few weeks so that the flower dries and is pressed by the weight of the books. After a few weeks, slowly remove your heavy book. Remember to remove your book or brick carefully so as not to disturb the flower that's dried underneath. Next, peel back your sheet of wax paper, peel back your sheet of paper towel, and look at your beautiful dry flower. Make sure to pick it up carefully, it could be quite fragile. Don't forget to peel back the wax paper and paper towel carefully because they might be stuck to the flower underneath. Move your bottom heavy book out of the way so your flower is just resting on the wax paper. Then very carefully with your tweezers, flip your flower upside down. Take your can of spray glue, shake it up, then spray it onto the back of your flower. Make sure you cover the whole back of your flower and all of its leaves and petals with your spray glue. Next, get a fresh page in your journal or a fresh piece of paper and carefully with your tweezers, pick up your flower and place it sticky side down onto your page. With your fingertips, Gently press down on all the leaves and petals that have glue on them to make sure they stay in place. You can even take a piece of your paper towel, place it on top of the flower nice and flat, and with the palms of your hands, press down. Remember, your flower is going to be very sticky, so place it with your tweezers and press the petals and leaves down carefully with your fingertips.
Once you've finished pressing the flour down with the palm of your hand, peel back the paper towel slowly and voila, your freshly pressed flour. Remember, you can press all sorts of different flowers and leaves and collect them in a journal like we did to enjoy them all year long. Visit the website to try this and tons of other activities that we've built just for you. Check out andycamper.com. Come on campers, let's get outside.